Hi everybody, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Um, making this video on Monday, um, I just found out from my friend, an old friend who is in law enforcement that he asked, reached out to a New York law enforcement friend of his who searched my name in the database and came up with nothing, no wants, no warrants, no orders of protection, no nothing. So I guess I can take a deep breath, a sigh of relief that the Lord looked out and, you know, the police weren't too mean and <clears throat> now we have to deal with our horribly awful <clears throat> landlord who this morning told Peter he wants the keys back tomorrow. <clears throat> um, my next step, I guess, is to go down to criminal court, housing court, and family court, civil court in Brooklyn, where I'm heading now, to file an order of protection against him and the landlord and to see if there's anything we can file to stop them from harassing us besides an order of protection. Um, they sent us a notice that said, uh, there's nothing left for you. This, the, the, these people have told us that we have to get you out. Uh, you know, basically admitting to harassing us to getting us out and that it's out of our hands and that uh, you know, what, I don't know what they have planned but uh, I need some some legal legality on our side I'm tired of being kicked around because I'm sick you know I've been made I'm, I had to go to the emergency room the other day the other night because I had a panic attack I thought it was diabetes or, or I don't know what the heck it was I couldn't see I couldn't breathe I couldn't feel my hands I couldn't stop shaking I was sweating by the time I walked to the emergency room you know I felt better within a couple hours before the doctor ever sees you I said screw this I need to go lay down and, um, but it's clear this is is affecting me deeply I am unable to function normally with his harassment, so I gotta go and try to, you know. Anyway, I want to thank the people who prayed for us, and to the people who think that I'm some kind of scammer or scumbag or whatever, you know, God bless you. You're entitled to your opinion. I pray that you never have to experience what my wife and I and thousands if not hundreds of other human beings around the world, hundreds of thousands of other human beings are experiencing. I know that one day reality will shine through, the truth will come out. Whether I'm here alive to see it or not really doesn't matter. You know, I'm trying to come to a place where I can accept even the worst horrible things, or at least attempt to, uh, trying to have faith in the knowledge that my Creator loves me and is there for me throughout this trial, you know, I don't know how else to, to look at it, you know, it's the last refuge of the damned, of the sick, of the desperate, of the dying, of the incarcerated, of the, you know, war torn I'm trying to make it part of my life 24 7 and not just because of this crap you know and I read these stories about people who have such faith that nothing bothers them you know what I aspire to. Anyway, thank you for your time. God bless you all.